What is up, everybody? This is Trent with SallySpitReport.com here at Ground Zero with our wrestler Bear once. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 All right, introduce yourselves. I'm going to try to do in the band real quick. I'm Mike. I play guitar. <laughs> I'm Courtney. I sing and yell. I'm Ricky. I play bass. I'm Mikey, and I play drums. Okay, awesome. So how you guys been lately and everything? New We're album this summer and getting ready to go on tour and all that? Yeah. It's been crrazy. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun stuff. It's the beginning of the tour when we're all like excited and not tired. So we're, <laughs> so we're like, God's yeah. at a good time. Yeah. So by the end of it, you're just ready to be done with it completely, basically. Well, then, it, then we'd be like, why are we alive? <laughs> what is the... And then, then you go and do it again, right? Yeah. yeah you exactly. have enough time at home to be bored out of our minds, and then we do it again. Okay. So what are some, <laughs> what are, so what are some things you guys do on tour, I guess, to relax and stay sane? Oh, man. We work uh, out. Burgers. <laughs> Mostly food. burgers. Talk about food a lot. Like, where are we going to eat, guys? What, someone make up you know, their mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we massage each other. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Most <know>. of the time. <laughs> I like to do yoga and go on runs, and it helps me stay fit for the stage. Okay. And helps me not be really stressed out. At the end of the tour, <laughs> we like to start talking about things we're going to do when we get home. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like live in air conditioning. Like shower. Yeah. yeah. Like masturbate in private. Not have to poop <laughs> with a bunch of everyone. people. Yeah. yeah. Instead of masturbating in boys we, and no, women's bathrooms. We, we, we call it the shame circle. <laughs> yeah. Like we. Actually, you have to stand in the middle. We have a lottery, uh, and we put all these <laughs> ping pong balls with numbers in in the raffle, and then whoever gets the number, they have to uh, do that in front of everybody. It's one oh, of the perks. It's, it's just a, one of the perks. It's a gift and a curse. How many times have you had to do it? <laughs> I am the king of it. Oh, okay. I try to choose the wrong numbers. I'm holding a record. I've got a. I'm. I'm. The, I'm six Couple picks in a row. Numbers. We're really. We're really <laughs> lonely. Not, you know what? I'm not all clogged up like the rest of these guys. We're really lonely. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> what about you? I like turtles. <laughs> Sick reference, bro. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. Which Ninja Turtle is your spirit six. animal? Michelangelo, for sure. Michael okay. Michael, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you guys have put out a new record, Hail Mary, this uh, past summer, a couple of months ago and everything. So how's the response to that been so far? Take it away, Michael. It's been cool. It's been awesome. Kids like, uh, every, I mean, everybody seems to be digging heavy stuff, so it's cool. It's definitely a change, to say the least. But yeah, yeah I mean, uh, we, we try to do something a little bit different this time around, and we were kind of, you know, a little bit on the edge as to how people would take it, but I feel like the response mostly has been pretty positive. Yeah. I mean, I think the people who hate it, hate it, and that's cool, but the people who like it, get it, and they like mm -hmm. it, so that's all that really matters, to be honest. More, pe <laughs> more people that hear the new record that hated the band before like the new record. <laughs> so okay. so it's, a, it's a positive that old fans are like, yeah, new, sh new shit's sick, and then people that weren't fans at all are like, new shit's sick, so that's positive. <laughs> yeah. And it just, you know, we're all like really angry, dark people, and we with full of hatred. <laughs> and so it's nice to. That's why we made the the lottery game for the. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, no, we're we're all. I think we're all very, very happy-go-lucky people. But sometimes, you know, you don't want a honky horn to represent what you're doing. Oh yeah. And yeah. you well, and you're see, dark. For me. Some people put on the corpse paint when they go on tour. I take it off. Yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't recognize me in public. <laughs> you don't even know, man. <laughs> this is news to me. me. I'm learning so much tonight about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, this is your, uh, I believe your second record with the band, correct? Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what is it like this time going into this one versus, you know, going into it for the last one y'all did before this one? Like, what was the what how different was the experience, or was it kind of just like the same? Well, this time I definitely felt more. I don't know, like I could be more assertive. I've definitely become. It's become like not a, the band that I'm filling in for now. And this, oh, yeah. my, you know, it's my band, and I yell at them <laughs> and yell at them when they're late and stuff. So, you like today, so you crack, you're cracking uh -huh. the whip, mom. You're pretty lenient. No, lately. this this tour, <laughs> this tour, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it anymore. You guys want to be late, f f sleeping? Go ahead. Fine. You guys don't want to, you want to pay for jam space for two hours, not practice? Fine, go ahead. I don't care. You know. That's the button. But then I secretly like go around and I wake them all up because I, I do care. But yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, my alarm's loud. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Oh! Do, do whatever, you want. Get up, do whatever you want. <laughs> and, uh, I, so, th yeah, this time I just felt more comfortable, I guess, because I've known everybody for another, two, you know, two years. Okay. So, I... I don't. I didn't feel on the last on late for nothing that I couldn't do whatever I wanted and stuff. Yeah. But this time I just was more sure of myself and I wasn't scared of what people were gonna think when they heard it because yeah. they already had heard me. So I, I yeah. had nothing to prove. I didn't have. That wasn't a, like a thing in the back of my mind. Which yeah. Was cool. Okay. First time I tried not to focus on that, but no matter what, I was like, oh my god, when people first hit cl <laughs> click that link to the first song, they're gonna hear me. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, first comment. <laughs> first like first. first I was your first yeah. follow me back sucks. follow yeah. me back and get 100 subscribers old shit's better yeah. <laughs> Slipknot <laughs> so uh, you know you're talking about you know the, the record does sound different than a lot of other stuff you know it's a lot more heavier there's a lot less of the singing and stuff so what made you guys I guess go I guess balls to the wall with the heavy on it and versus you know the whole you know the little mellow singing you know parts parts that you guys used to have and stuff <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I I, I feel like uh, you know Courtney's always wanted singing, and uh, it, it wasn't like we went into this one where we're like, oh, this time we should have no singing. You know yeah. what I mean? It just it just kind of like with the material at hand, just kind of made sense to put it where it was. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like it's there. There's there's a this may be like the heaviest record this band's done, but there's also you know a song on this record that it could be played on the radio you know what i mean like there's there's an interlude uh, halfway through the record and yeah it's all singing you know what i mean so it's just kind of one of those things where we just kind of looked at the material that we had and we didn't plan anything out really it was just okay. kind of like well this is kind of you know unfolding to be completely different than the last and yeah. that's and great you know it's yeah. progression right so yeah it's it cool like just you know we play all we, we play so many shows and play the same songs over and over every night and it just seemed after a while that we were all leaning towards wanting to play our heavier songs yeah. on that like the last few tours before album like we were really stoked to play some ep songs okay. and we weren't really stoked to play some of our newer songs that were like lighter i guess like we just we were we wanted i don't know just what we were in the mood for that we all kind of were like let's let's make some more stuff like that yeah. like an updated yeah. version of kind of how like outrageous some of the EP stuff was. Okay. Yeah. So one thing I've always wanted to talk to you guys about musically is the freaking guitar work is insane in all your songs. And you know, you know, like you were saying, you know, some of the, you know, pe people listen to your older stuff, you know, like this one more. And I was one of those people to where I had to see you guys live before I could really appreciate it, you know, a couple of years ago. And I was just simply blown away by the technicality that you guys have live, you know, not only on the record, but live and stuff. So like, what inspires you guys with the guitar and, you know, the guitar work and all that, the very sporadic, but you know, like technical, like sounding stuff. Oh man. Thank you. I really appreciate yeah. that. Um, but uh, there's a lot, you know, for me personally, like, you know, I don't even know. Like, I, I, I love anything that sounds not like a guitar. Like, yeah. pretty much anything that you can make as random as possible, I, I really dig. Um, so, like, I don't know, Danza. I love Danza. Yeah. Um, and I love, you know, like, probably one of my, my, my main bands that I go to is Misery Signals, for sure. Okay. Stuff, stuff like that, for me, is, is kind of like, you know, where I get my, you know, two cents from. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's just kind of, this new stuff was more so, it, Steven, too, you know what I mean? When, when we had everything on the table, it just kind of matched. It was just kind of like, well, everything blends well together. So it's not like this is going to be an uneven sounding record yeah, or whatnot. Weird. It's just, they just did we stuff. just kind of went out of our way to make the weirder parts weirder and, yeah. you know, the heavier parts heavier. And yeah. Yeah, I can say, like, I think, you know, when I saw you guys, it was like 2013 with the Tell on that tour. Oh, and cool. when I saw you, you were just like picking the fret and everything like doing those weird stuff i'm like that so that's how he gets that sound like that's insane and honestly so, i mean it, it, it honestly had me in shock so i mean yeah was, well i mean <laughs> it, it's, it's funny too because like a lot of the stuff that we do like if you were to actually like take the sounds off and just make it kind of bare bones and like if i showed you what certain parts would be you'd be like oh that's it you know <laughs> so it's, it's kind of it's kind of like one of those things but you know it's it definitely has its place sometimes and it's i was actually just saying before to some guy in there it's like it's pretty easy to go over, overboard with those type of sounds but yeah 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 you know. okay so right, uh, we want to make them not novelty but yeah just fun. you know <laughs> okay. kind of use them appropriately yeah. yeah okay so where'd the name hail mary come from well we 
we actually named like it took us a long time i don't know why this, i feel like the i don't know about you guys but all the other albums i feel like you guys named it like pretty <laughs> pretty quick they they informed me right you guys informed me i was at home and yeah. you guys were like this one's gonna be called late for nothing yeah, we, we all were, decided uh, yeah we were all doing mushrooms and just we're kind of like and they, i wasn't there it sounds sick <laughs> and they were like in this song and they were like and also we're gonna write a letter just to, to sylvester stallone and tell him how good he is so we're gonna name this song letters to stallone and i was like okay i was like yeah but i was know, still we at home mushrooms and stuff so like things makes a lot more sense when you're That's there on you're doing and you're doing the mushrooms this one gonna... this one we named it that because text messaging into watermelons and yeah talking yeah. On the phone oh yeah, and I, had a, yeah. I had a so. shell like a seashell and i was like guys pick up the watermelon i'm calling you <laughs> why is this working <laughs> That's, I wish I had seen that. I mean, no, we don't do drugs. That's stupid. Drugs are stupid. Man, drugs are stay stupid. Stay away from drugs. Good. Okay? Good. Dare, right? D A. Drugs are dumb. Dare's? The dare, dare. campaign? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dare. <laughs> Keep a kid off drugs. Yeah. Scruff McGruff. Crime <laughs> dog. Well, this, let me answer the question that we originally <laughs> asked. Sing the song. It's. <laughs> Sing. No, you, you sang it yesterday. Okay. <laughs> You're so shy Scruff around Scruff McGruff, people. Chicago, Illinois, 60652. That's all you get. Wow. Fucking honest. That was beautiful. I oh, I never I don't ever talk to him in public and he's so like funny and, and does such silly impressions and stuff and then when we get in public, you know that frog that like sings, Hello my baby, hello my <laughs> And he's like really entertaining. And then when we try to get him to do it in front of other people, he's like No. <laughs> no. Uh, here's your chance for the whole internet to see right here. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll now that we talked for like ten minutes about mushrooms, uh, that, it's called Hail Mary, because hail, you know, hail. my accent is yeah. ha hail Mary, and uh, it's called that because it's it's twofold. It's like it, there's a lot of religious imagery on it, but also it's the football play. It's yeah, like, we're like it's the it's our fuck it, <laughs> and we're like we're like we got it. We're just gonna do whatever we want. Right, okay. Like no one likes us anyways. Make a heavy record and just fuck it. Throw it as far as we can. Yeah. <laughs> Light our house on fire. <laughs> yeah. Get it in the end zone. So you know. Trouble. We don't have... We still don't know if somebody caught it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know if anyone uh, caught the ball. Uh, it's, a, it's a really big, long metaphor. But anyway, that's, that's like the two main reasons. Okay. Well, uh, this has been fun and everything, so, but uh, we're going to switch to a little serious topic here that's been going on, you know, kind of the headlines in the, I guess, music world for the past, you know, summer, actually, you know, starting with the Vans Warped Tour is, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of sexual harassment in the, in the music scene and stuff with, like, band people getting in trouble and stuff. So uh, what has been your experiences with, I guess, like, sexual harassment or witnessing it on tour or anything like that? Pretty dark question, man. Pretty dark <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a lot to say about that. Okay. Well, you know, it's it's... It's really interesting, like, how I feel like a lot, I, f I would think that most of us girls that are in bands, I think a lot of us don't get full frontal, like, that's a bad term to talk about in this way, but like full on, like, guys and other bands, like, making us really uncomfortable and stuff. Because that's the whole shitty part about, like, sexual harassment is that to those guys, I'm on their level. Yeah. Now, if I'm like a girl in the crowd, I'm down here. I'm yeah. not on their level. They don't view me as, as a as a person. So I don't really experience that very much because I'm traveling with a group of guys. Yeah. But second, I'm away from these guys, and I'm talking to people in the crowd, mm -hmm. and I'm not around them. The the tone is different. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. if they're here, it's like they're my. Oh well, she's yours, so I'm not gonna, you know, yeah. hug her weird. And, do, and make her really uncomfortable. But my, my not, although a lot of people have had horrible experiences, my experiences with all the bands that I've ever toured yeah. with is people that treat me like a human, do not make me feel uncomfortable. Obviously, my, I have a, my fiance is on tour with me, okay. but even before he was, I never, no one ever treated me badly. But I think it's, you know, it's just something that, we all of us girls deal with and, yeah. and we don't really care if guys say oh no not all guys do this that's not a thing you have to deal with we're just i mean no matter what anyone says to us it's not going to change yeah so if, if someone will listen to us about it that's really cool because that's the only way that we change but the main thing is like the humanity thing oh yeah is if you've these guys view me as not some chick in their band like i'm a human fully formed human being to them i think 
so that's why we all can live in harmony like okay. that. Fully formed. <laughs> if you were less you know, formed, we would be like, fuck you. <laughs> fully formed in all the right ways, huh? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it sucks, but it's a reality that it's not just girl, it's not music scene, it's just all of the, that, you know, that chick that walked down the street, like someone will probably yell out their window, something gross yeah. at her. Yeah. It's just something, it's not even, it's not a women in music thing, it's a, the girl walking to work tomorrow to go to, you know, in her parka. They're with with like, uh, <laughs> more and more girls, I guess, joining bands and touring and stuff, there's a lot more this year than there's probably ever been in the past. And so, especially in the metal scene, do y'all feel like maybe that's getting a little bit easier? on that side since you know yeah. it's becoming more common instead of like oh there's that one girl from that one band you know back in the day it was just oh it's Haley Williams and Paramore you know blah 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 now it's like oh you have this band that band or this band you know with yeah. all these different gr well, females in it we did a tour in the summer with an all chick band yeah, so. yeah. okay so that was cool would it happen to be Conquer Divide yes. yeah yeah. Oh, yeah yeah they're they're really cool they were yeah. a good yeah, they were cool. a good example that I was going to say about just because they're not they're, there's no validation of having men with them yeah that it, they actually do, they get treated even differently than, than I would get treated because I'm like, I'm a girl, but at least there's guy musicians in my band, you know, but they're <laughs> like all chicks. So they have, oh, they yeah. have an even different experience than me. I mean, for me, it was like, oh, nice to meet you. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> We're not used to being around really pretty people. We're, we've had a bunch of stinky oh. dudes. So well, I think all of y'all are very pretty oh, people. So you. there you go. <laughs> Especially well, as, as you, that guy with the beard right there. <laughs> yeah. I think so there you go. I'm oh, sure you're gonna put me on Tumblr yeah. and I'm gonna get on blast think, now, yeah. right? <laughs> you, you put me on blast on Tumblr. You tumble readers put me on blast. The uh, the I bet the guys even for them though. I mean, think about when you guys were first in the band with Krista. I bet I bet even then she was treated really different than like I get treated now, like eight years later. You know what I mean? Like things have have gotten better. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah. Like or people just being more like. Oh, you're a girl and you're yelling. Well, that's cool. Rather than like, you're not attractive to me anymore. Therefore, you have of no value because you're gross and you're doing gross manly stuff. So gross, you. That's <laughs> that how is messed up. That's how you. <laughs> that's very messed that's up. That's like our biggest, like the biggest insult people think they can give girls like me is like, old singers hot or fuck you. I'm like, I don't care who you want to <laughs> fuck more. I, you know, like I, that has no relevance. I don't care about your wiener. I don't. Yeah. I really don't care. So you know, that's like that's that, but. They, you know, these guys have always been lady-friendly guys. Okay. So if any of you ladies are looking for a man who knows how to treat you like an equal, you need to, like you need to come hang out. Go to www.tinder.com, <laughs> download the app, and swipe right. <laughs> sure, I guess. I don't want to just edit that out a little bit. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna pee. We gotta wrap. We gotta wrap this up here. We got a little bit more okay, time left. Okay, I was left, talking so. about Tinder over it. They won't. <laughs> so real quick, uh, what is what is I guess uh, an awesome or unique fan inter uh, interview uh, fan uh, experience you guys have had, or something that you had to sign that was pretty weird? We've got two minutes. Ooh, uh, we've we've actually had. A, um, I mean, for for fan experience, we've, which is awesome, we've had like I don't even know how many proposals. Marriage proposals. Marriage proposals. To like, oh wow. How we play, yeah, which is awesome. Like kids, like people will hit us up and be like, oh. You know, this is our favorite song. Are you gonna play this tour? Like, can I propose to my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. So then I, I pretend like, would someone like to introduce the next song? And then I'm like, you <laughs> yeah. young man, come up here. Come forward. Yeah. Okay. And then awesome. and I freak out the whole time because I'm like, what if they say no? Okay. <laughs> we haven't had one no. One no. Okay. I, so I will literally, I'll just leave the stage and go in the van and, and not come out if that happens. I'll be so upset. All right. Well, <laughs> is there anything else you guys want to say to your fans real quick? Uh. Oh yeah, thanks to them. Oh, yeah. oh, we only have like yeah. one minute. We'll just yeah. say thanks. Thanks everyone <laughs> to for donating to the GoFundMe. It's it's a it's because of you. We're on tour still. Yeah. We're we love here you. in this in this ground right now by this horse. <laughs> this horse's dick because you <laughs> helped us. So we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys for talking to us today. And uh, I'm Trent with SallySpitport.com. This is I Wrestle Bear Once. Thanks for watching. Let's put our hands in the middle. Oh, <laughs>